everybody I'm back with another video yes it's neon as you can see from the other hand and I mean it's relatively plain um, but we have got a neon ombre don't know if that interests you but I mean you know I have been mixing it up a little bit I've just not been recording all of my videos any videos no any nails that I have done that you will not see on here you will find on my Instagram and my Facebook page which are both named Karen J nails all one word um so yeah I'm just going in with my forms on this hand and then I'm going to prime and I'm going to dehydrate and not necessarily in that order um but i'm going to dehydrate and then i'm going to prime and i've already pushed back the cuticles cleansed the nail plate etched the nail plate got rid of any excess cuticle on the nail plate um before i have applied these forms so that's where we're at so i've been super incredibly busy i have got one week until another assignment is due in for uni and we have just got over prom week and i've now started all my holiday nails so all my appointments booked back to back and it is a nightmare um i haven't got time for anything at the moment so i'm sitting in here i'm gonna voice over this i'm gonna go and finish my assignment and then i'm gonna take a well-earned nap yes so I'm going to go in with a birthday suit at the free edge and I'm going to build that out to the length that I require. Um, so you can see as I'm doing it, this is real time. This is how slow I actually work. Um, I am patting it side to side, keeping it where I want it to be and then patting down the top. Pull, 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 pat, push back in the sides. I'm literally just keeping it in shape with my brush. I'm just following the lines. When it goes out of the lines, I push it back in the lines. And that's how I do it until I get the length that I desire. Okay, so this is going to be a full nail of birthday suit by CJP. I've gone in with that bead at the free edge. And now I'm going to go in with a cuticle bead when I've finished faffing about because that's what I do, faff, faff, faff. I will put it down where the end of that other bead is and then I will keep my brush behind it. So place the bead, brush will go behind it. You can see me tilting down the nail, nice and gentle, keep it nice and neat around the cuticle and then just fan it out over the top of your other bead. Nice and smooth. I am a little bit extra. I have got the Aries too much gene so I am going to go in with another bead to make sure that the apex is there I'd rather have too much than too little so I like to make sure that my apex is definitely there that the tip isn't too thin and then if I need to file it away later I will I understand it's a waste of product for some people but that is how I like to do it I'd rather do it this way than go back in later and say right okay that's too thin I'm going to add some more um it looks unprofessional so I'm going to make sure that there's enough and then I will file it and then I've got plenty to play with so that's how I like to work <laughs> See, now to me that looks just fine. So I'll just keep stroking it, stroking it, messing about. This is, I just faff a lot. I do this so then it's less filing later. If I can get it as perfect as I can with my brush, then it's less of a problem later on. This colour is Tangerine. I think it's Tangerine. Tangerine by Glitter Bells. I have been using this um, Glitter Bells product with my CJP Monomer. I know that you shouldn't miss pro mix products, but it's what I had in my dappin' dish. It works. It's not had any kind of reaction. I have done it once, other, one other time um, when I did a similar set to this and I used tangerine that time as well. And it's not been a problem. It works perfectly fine. It sets the same, blah, 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 blah. It's fine. Um, so yeah, tangerine spy, oh, nails is CJP then. Um, tangerine by um, nails by Annabelle. Nails by Annabelle, who makes glitter bells. I'll get it right in a minute. Glitter bells. Um, tangerine colour. I will leave a link just in case my voiceover is slightly confusing. I'm overtired. 
Um, I think this, is, no, it's not, it's an ombre. So I'm going to ombre this with um, a birthday suit from CJP. Um, so I've just literally laid that down like I did with my other cuticle bead and now I'm going to go in with another one for the very, very back third there and I'm going to put my brush behind it like I did before and make sure it's nice and neat, pull down the sides, pat it across, pull down the sides. Yes lovely a jubbler i will cap this blend with cjp's um crystal glass which is what that is there so i'm feathering that back and then i'm going to pull it forward over the blend the only reason i'm doing that is so then when i file i do not file that blend away <sighs> so much fun tangerine again going in feathering it back and then i'm going to push it back into shape i think i put that bead in a little bit wet um i have been sort of mixing a little bit between um the cjp ultra adhesive monomer which is what i always always use and i've recently bought a bottle of the one now i'm going to be honest about the one okay so the ultra adhesive i swear by it it's brilliant absolutely flawless love um the ultra adhesive they are, I think, don't hold me to this, I think they're going to phase it out, um, the ultra adhesive. So I have bought the one because everyone swears by it. And I have to say, the first time I used it, I was not sold at all. Really, really did not get along with it. My acrylic stuck in my brush. I couldn't get it out. Usually, I will only clean my brush in my monomer. Um, I will soak it in monomer and then I will pull out any excess um, acrylic that's stuck in my brush and my brush will be left wet overnight laid on a paper towel on my table and then it'll be perfectly fine the next day it's how i've always treated my brushes my brushes have always been brilliant never had a hard bit in my brush but when i first used the one i think it was me i thought it was the monomer turns out i think it was actually me and the heat of my room at that time when i used it um because the acrylic set in my brush I couldn't get it out so I ended up having to actually clean my brush in brush cleaner which I've never done before um to get the excess acrylic out I couldn't soften it um but it was super super hot in my nail room and it does set a little bit quicker so the first time I used it I was not sold at all I then ran out of the um, ultra adhesive and had to use the one and the second time I used it literally it was flawless it was brilliant I love the way it set a little bit quicker um, I didn't get anything stuck in my brush I haven't since I have been using the one um, so I haven't since got anything else stuck in my brush so I feel like it could have been just a mixture of being the first time I've used it I wasn't used to it and then the heat in the room I think caused my little bit of a, a nightmare so I wasn't going to use it again I'm glad I give it a second chance it is really really good okay so there you go that's my opinion um the last nail was a full tangerine and then this one is a full nude now I believe that after I finished doing this nail, if this is the right girl, yes, I think it is. Um, after I'd finished doing this nail, this girl decided that she wanted orange glitter adding in. I'd already built the nail. Um, so I was a bit worried that adding glitter in over the top, oh God, a fly just went in my ear. <laughs> oh God. Um, I was a bit concerned that after building the nail, that um, it would be too bulky but I added a thin layer of um, the glitter over the top and then um, a thin layer of crystal glass to encapsulate the glitter um, now this is right at the very end so you're not going to see this right now but you will see me come back to it and add the glitter in um, and what I said was is basically if I file away the glitter when I file the nail then I will just refile the nail all the way back so that it's thin and then I would have gone in with the glitter and then um capped in clear anyway um but I wanted to see if we could get it done quicker because she was in a rush I was in a rush and we needed a quick solution to this issue and it did work out perfectly fine as well so that's what happened there and you will see that in a minute I'm just going to take a break because my mouth is dry Okay, I have left the thumb in. It is slightly out of shot again. I still haven't bought a new tripod. I do apologise 
for this but everyone wants to see what I put on the thumb it is just a plain orange thumb done with the tangerine from nails but I know <laughs> god sake, stop saying that um from glitter bells and then it is capped in crystal glass from cjp um yeah I'd like to say welcome and hello to all of my new subscribers please ignore the dogs barking there is my dog and then there is the neighbor's dog and once one starts barking the other starts barking um welcome to everybody who has subscribed and liked and commented on my channel i do appreciate you all i know i'm a little bit slow and you're getting one video a week but i am doing my best to make sure you get this one video per week and look at what's the point in that thumb at all it's no point in it being there but anyway um thank you all for liking and subscribing and if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video then please do like and subscribe i do appreciate each and every one of you like honestly sincerely really really do um and i'm always like taken aback by how many new subscribers i get each time i put out a video but i do love you all so much thank you Okay, so I'm going in now with this glitter and it is from, um, ba -da -ba -ding. let me see, I believe it's from Diamond Glitters, I don't know the name, I will find it for you and I will try my best to leave you a link. I've just picked that up with a tiny bead of crystal glass um, and I'm trying to put that in now because she did decide like literally last minute because we was going to um, paint on the tips which you will see me do on the pinky and um, we was going to paint on the tip on this one as well um, and then she changed her mind so like I said before we was looking for a quick solution I've done a really really thin layer so you can see some of the nude underneath that's the kind of effect she wanted anyway um, it did to me look a little bit bulky and then after I'd filed it, it looked great. So it did work out perfectly fine. I was worried, I'm not going to lie. Like when I put um, the cap on it, I capped it in crystal glass. I thought, oh my God, I'm literally going to file all of this away, trying to get it back into shape and make it look like the same as all the others. Um, but actually I didn't file any of the glitter away so that was good it worked out well um, because otherwise I would have gone in with my drill file filed it all the way back down to a thin layer and then had to go back in with the glitter and then recap it in clear which I really wanted to avoid and so did she so this is how I fixed that problem I'm actually getting really really good at fixing problems um, so since like I began doing nails I mean it's only been two years um, but since I began doing nails I used to panic like mad if a client had said to me when I got to this point oh my god I want glitter in there like I really want I'd have been like oh my god I don't even know how to begin with fixing this problem without having to take the nail all the way back down again um, but I have become a massive problem solver so it works as long as you know how to file it's all good like that's all you need you just need to know how to file and need to know how not to get it on people's skin once you've got them two things down you're all right you're going to be fine um so i've left you a couple of nails of filing um and then you will see me i believe paint on the tip in a minute so i'm going to leave you for a second i'm not going to add any music into this video so you might get a little bit of a silence but music is a problem for me <laughs> so i'm not going to do that um, I will dust off the nails. In fact, yeah, okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now I've finished filing, I will dust away any excess dust um, and then I will go away and change my paper towel because I hate dust, I always change my paper towel. I'm gonna top coat all of these nails. The reason that I do this is because I'm painting on the tip um, and I paint it directly onto the acrylic. It does sort of bleed out a little bit. So if you look closely, you can see it's not a perfect line. Um, and I like perfect lines, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna go in and top coat. This top coat, by the way, is um, Born Pretty and <coughs> it's the no wipe top coat. And I bought 
like probably about five bottles quite a while ago, like probably two, three months ago, it was on an offer. Um, so I bought five bottles and I thought, oh, they'll come in handy then if I run out and I've got an emergency, I'll just keep them in a drawer. I used one bottle in an emergency. I didn't use a whole bottle, but I opened one bottle in an emergency and basically I um, used it on my own and it was bitty and I hated it. So when I did, I give a, away a lot of nail stuff. I give away three bottles of it and then I threw the bitty one in the bin. And then I had another nail emergency after prom and literally opened this new bottle and this top coat is actually phenomenal. I'll see if I can find you a link. Um, It is really, really good top coat. It goes on really smooth. I think I just had a dodgy bottle the first time and I should have given that a second chance as well, but I didn't because I'm not down for second chances. So I'm just going in with the Gel Bottle Inks Flame Colour, which is a neon orange. This camera, it doesn't actually show it the way it actually looks, but it is a really, really bright orange. Um, and I'm literally just painting a square tip on, which all of my clients seem to like at the moment. They just like this painted on square tip on the end. So that is what I'm doing there. So that's going to go into the lamp for um, 60 seconds and I'm going to re-top coat that end. Well, I'm going to re-top coat the whole thing, add some cuticle oil and this is my finished nails. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe um, and leave me a comment if you like as well. And I will see you all again here next time. Love you all. Bye.